Hi, welcome to TFLP Microcasters. I'm Lucas. I'm joined tonight by Anna and some special guests. Good evening. So Hi. We, we decided uh, since Christian wasn't going to be on tonight that we'd have like half the cast. So uh, here we go. So we got Phil. Good evening. We got Rob. Hi. And we got Paul. What up? I'm trying to decide if we need to tell the the viewers are not if you were telling the truth there because i don't think it was that christian couldn't no, make it because no we, so we came it was we were coming and christian's like i'm <laughs> going he doesn't want to talk about this think... toy in the first place and much less be the sixth person yeah, person he on the cast for a toy he doesn't care about he doesn't enjoy talking about gay, toys that are outside of his bubble where lucas does so lucas is still here yeah i'll talk about I other think... toys I think Christian's also still scarred from the December 23rd episode where he joined what he thought was a microcasters episode and it turned out to be Paul and Ari and Lucas just <laughs> getting a little loopy. It was out Ari of my was wallet. Mean. Ari was like going for the jugular. It was uncalled for. Well, you know, he's a special guest. We don't bring him. We don't bring in the heavy hitters I mean, every, that, every That's time. what happens when, when you bring in guys from other podcasts. They're really I mean, did, before you brought Ari on, did you give him instructions? He, no, he, no. That's, that's an end joke. It's he end doesn't joke. need them. Oh, Was yeah. I ever oh, given I instructions? He's instructor oh, kind. Ari, Ari, yeah, I forgot the Ari thing. Yeah, that that makes sense. Right, so, tonight, Anna, what are we reviewing tonight? Or tonight me, we're but, dealing, or we're talking about Masterpiece Skids and his brother, cousin, Red Guy. MP fifty three. And What's the red guy's name? Reboost. Reboost. Thank you. I refuse to name him for no good reason. Um, if you watched our the our best worst of 2021, we have briefly talked about it a little there, but we'll obviously go into more detail tonight. But if you're like me and you haven't watched that, then you're completely unspoiled. F so yeah, Paul, think... here's here's your cast of Oof My Wallet. <laughs> Here, we, we all showed up tonight instead of last night. It's cool. It's cool. <laughs> we have a special feature tonight. We're going to expand our review because Paul is going to start us out by reviewing the box. Because that's how I collect characters that don't matter that are masterpieces. None of this matters. None of it matters. Why does the so, box say city on it? Ooh. Well, yeah. why does it? Why does it say that? Well, it's because this, my friends, is Skids, who turns historically into the Honda City, which is like one of the most produced cars of all time in Japan. And it's it's a and I, did it come over to America as something or did they mod? I think they modified it, but they definitely changed the name. Uh, it's something I should know, but you know I'm not a car guy really, but you I know do what? know I that. It up. I. I saw that it had a European release. I did not see a U.S. release because I was really curious because I'd never heard of it. Yeah, so actually, it I don't... probably has four of them in some, you know, uh, fashion of being repaired at the moment in his backyard. There, there is history here, but I mean, from the car, this release came out because of the car. It's like the twenty fifth or twentieth anniversary of the Honda City, and Honda was like. We love you, Takara. We want to work with you and promote. I mean, they're not selling this car. No, 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 no. Paul, Paul. Wait, because didn't he originally turn into a Honda City? Yes. Yeah. Okay. He so 20 did. years ago would have been 2002. So this is so not the 30, 20th anniversary 30. of this car. 30 no, years. 30th anniversary is 35? 1992. <laughs> I don't this fucking is know. Like, like 35th no, or 40th anniversary. Close to 40th anniversary. Listen. I, God, we're old. I'm not, I'm not when did the Diacon toy come out? <laughs> I'm reviewing a fucking box here, okay? <laughs> Time has moved on. Like, like, I, I don't, I don't know old. what you're talking about. <laughs> I'm not 40. <laughs> I'm going to yell at a cloud later. But, you know, the Masterpiece packaging is impeccable almost because it has stayed consistent for yes. since, since 2000. What? Con what? Consistently crap. I fucking hate Masterpiece packaging. You What's do? Wrong with Why? It? It's boring. It's just pictures of the toy. There's no cool art. You can't see the figure. Mm, that's true. It's, 
Like, it I mean, might as well literally be rocks. It is the worst. There's no... I like boxes that at least you can see the figure and or have art well, on them. Or I both. Really like, uh, G1 Metal Hawk is, like, one of the best boxes ever. It's got art on it, and you can open it up and see it while keeping it sealed if that's your bag. It's great. That's the way they should be. Have you guys seen the new Legacy packaging yet? Mm -hmm. The open air plastic recyclable stuff, right? With the no like plastic. the the, the um, 1990s uh, trapper keeper explosion of color for that design. That's like the antithesis <laughs> of these MP packaging. It's and like skids that, this is minimal. It's in legacy, so there's a there's a connection. Oh, there. oh I know. I'm just saying, like skids. the legacy packaging is like if if Rob likes stuff with lots of color and, and showiness, then the legacy packaging. Not it doesn't have to be color and showing. It's just give me some okay. cool art, some cool character art or something. You don't need art on masterpiece toys because the toys are masterpieces, whereas they have to make fancy box art for shitty mainline toys to get you to get kids to buy them because they're twenty dollar pieces of crap. I mean, so as a guy that loves masterpieces, some of them suck. <laughs> there is an art though. An art is on the card, right? Yes. This card it's has inside. a drawing. Yeah. It's inside. So, so you'd, you'd have, have to, to buy the toy open to that get the box. Art. Yeah, you'd, you have, you'd have to actually open it to. <laughs> I think it's a good picture of skids. I honestly didn't look at it very much, and it's on my kitchen table. Well, so this masterpiece packaging, whether you hate it or love it, has been consistent for a long, long time, which I think is pretty impressive for any Transformer toy line. And it's for any toy line, period, even other like. Yeah long running like solo chogakin or something you know the releases are all over the place you know stuff of that nature i mean even the box size for all these like this this size of They're car similar. has been this almost i mean there's only like less than a dozen masterpiece box sizes and the great part is like you can i don't know if you've ever seen like a mass display of like all the boxes kind of like put together yeah. with car on mode on it, it just looks kind of cool and Ron um, brought up something I didn't know. He said the the Pulse American version has a lot of artwork on the slipcover. I mean, it could, you know, but I have not I seen have that. Literally not I seen that. that. That's because it's not Ron. Yet, Ron. Is it? Oh, Ron. Oh, got it. Ron in the chat. Yeah. I I thought all the slipcovers like were you black. Saw that. I think the joke is probably that it's just a black cover with it. Yeah, I think it's a joke. It. Okay, thank God. Oh. Yeah, but now, Paul, you do, collect, wow. you, you do collect those variants, right? So that you can get that stupid slipcover, right? Yeah, and uh, that's how you know. So that's how you know it's a Japanese release or a um, U.S. release that was removed. Because here's near the barcode here is the date stamp. Uh, uh, see that yeah. H, H2, H2721, that is the date stamp. So on the U.S. release, that will not be there after you've removed the sleeve, and the date stamp is on the sleeve. So Does that that's mean this toy was made in August. No, <laughs> stop asking stupid shit. <laughs> I don't know what month starts with H. It's a code for code breakers, unlike you and me. Well, I assume um, the twenty-one means it was made in twenty twenty-one, and the twenty-seventh probably means it was made in. You're gonna give uh, Paul an aneurysm. Drop. Let, let, let it go. Let it go. What that? There's a button on your fucking computer that has a microphone. Click it. Maybe it's like Wait. the fu the futures code. You know, like if you're trading futures on the stock market, maybe that's I don't know. Is August H? Uh, it has to do with like the run, the day of the run. It's oh. not. It, it's there's people that have deciphered it, and it changes so, here. And there. As for M M I S B reviewers, you know, like you have to compare against what else is out there. So you got to compare against X T B Savant. So you just have to weigh both of the boxes, right? I assume that's what you do. Which box is heavier? Is Which everyone color. weighs more? Yeah, I don't, I don't understand that. But here's also Reboost, it's and here's joke. something I want to point out: Reboost is thirty-four or fifty-four, but there is a future toy coming, the silver version, which is crosscut, which is fifty-four plus. That infuriates me. How random repaints get their own number. But Thundercracker and Skywarp don't. Well, because technically oh, Reboost is a retool, right? Like, there's enough differences in, like, the hood and the head part that it's a retool. Whereas Crosscut is really just a straight repaint of Reboost, right? No. No. They're both a little different. Is it a so, little different still? Because I, I was looking at pictures earlier. I thought it was identical. 
there is no pattern or method to the madness. And yeah. actually, MP52 is Starscream. MP50, MP52 Plus is Thundercracker. MP52 Plus SW is Skywarp. And that... I mean, I, th- I feel like they're trying to mess with the people that care about that stuff, you know? <laughs> like, they... It's like sometimes they're really on it and sometimes they aren't. But it's possible. Anyways, it's kind of a joke to review the box. I collect this stuff. I collect Masterpiece Mitten Sealed Box, so it was, you know, it's it's just shit. So let's we talk usually about don't it. talk about boxes on here, but one important thing about the box is the fact that this box did cost less than other recent MPs because this was kind of a return to the old price scheme. Because, you know, like when we got Prowl, he was only $70, I think. And this it was like fifty or sixty, even. Yeah, he yeah he was like sixty. Like Sideswipe was like fifty or sixty. Yeah. 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 Well, Wasn't the Toys R Us version of Prowl a little bit pricier? I think so. I think that was the seventy dollar one. Yeah. yeah. That's the one I have. Well, anyway, it depends on if you're buying it from Big Bad Toy Store or whatnot. It might be seventy, but <laughs> if you get it from Japan, I bought it from PhysicalStore.com at some point. <laughs> but anyway, well, Anna. This- can it- can I can I break you for one one second? Crosscut yes. MP53 plus, that's the Skids plus, and it's very much a retool. Ah, uh, before now. you said 54 plus, I, so did. I thought I had I thought I had a good logical. I was, I was wrong, which made you wrong, and I'm sorry. So uh, I was just trying to do logic, you know, which is flawed. Anyway. So we, when we got Hound, he was a lot more than ninety dollars, and this figure is ninety dollars. Yeah, because Hound mean, was the last car-ish size figure we got, right? RC, G one oh, car-ish, whatever. yeah, RC. RC. Uh, well, count. I should say G one, like season one and two car. I mean, it's obvious why this one is priced so much less if you pick yes. it up. Yes, and we'll get there in a few minutes. <laughs> it is multiple reasons. Not that the toy's bad, but yeah. Yeah, we'll we'll definitely get there. But I think it's cool just to have one that's a little bit more accessible in price because I mean, RC and Hound were both pretty expensive. Yeah, I mean it's obviously a a return more to that with price and with uh, engineering. You know, it's nothing like I don't know the past what five years of masterpiece or something on that regard. No. So but, you know, it's dive in. Like and it's not horrible either. Like, a, there's been rumors, and then some other people says that doesn't make any sense. That this design was part by the guy that did the Diaclone toy. And other people are like that dude's super old. There's no way. Um, maybe it was just an homage to him, but that it is an homage to the Diaclone toy because Skids is barely in the cartoon, so they took this chance to make it more of a toy version, which is kind of you know how the older masterpieces were. They were that mix. And so, I mean, if you're going to go that route for a release, Gids makes a good time to do that. So here is the vehicle mode. The I suppose we call this a car and not an SUV, right? Because it's small size. Yeah. That's sure. a compact car. Yeah, a compact yeah it's car. a ha- hatchback. I mean, what hatchback would you... Uh, how would this compare? Is this smaller than a Volkswagen Beetle? Hmm. I don't know. Yeah, it's almost like he should have been a mini bot <laughs> with that alt mode. Yeah, it's a pretty small car. Well, but they had it's like well muscle gone. cars that were mini bots, so mm-hmm. and planes. It does look, you know, know, when I got this for Christmas, so when I got it for Christmas, okay. my husband asked me what what car it was, and I just looked up a picture of a blue. Um, City Turbo and was like, here, this is exactly him, because it does look very much like the actual car. Now, do the um, the rear view mirrors, um, are those, were those pre-attached, or did you have to attach them? They fold in. They're attached. They are pre-attached. Unlike, like, wheel jack, where you had yeah. to put them on, they are pre-attached, and they do fold in. Which is, honestly, a lot better than a lot of other MP releases where they get those rubber ones that you slide in that do not stay in no, yeah. no matter what, you know, like they're not going to break, but you're still not going to have them. <laughs> they are that's, gone. It's nice. It's nice. It, it's a nice way to get an MP toy for like 20% off because you'll have someone who lost the, uh, the rear view mirrors. 
and uh like one of the mold differences you can see between skids and reboost is the hood uh skids has that bump and reboost yeah. does not he just has a smooth hood i assume that is done for a reason um like based on the original car and the bumper's different too skids yeah, has like i mean they're different models it. they're different models and a, t- a car aficionado would have to tell you yeah. why similar but yeah little differences like the engine must be more souped up or something in the yeah, Anna, didn't you one. say the blue one is a turbo? <laughs> it is, yeah. according to the oh, yeah. word turbo being written on it, yeah. What does your engine look like? <laughs> oh, that wow, that's a great question. Um, it's cool. They have little engine details. That's yeah, always fun yeah. when they can work that in. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Like a, this is the, the skids version of the engine. Yeah, it looks like about the same. I mean, it's all a big blurry mess, but the colors seem to be yeah. in the same spots. <laughs> Different colors, but in the same spot. Yeah. So looking up the Wikipedia page for the Honda City, I searched United States, and there's not even one hit. So like this that? was this was never sold in the United States, but many other countries did it. And it's also considered a subcompact car. So yeah, even tiny. more compact. Yeah. It's really small. I mean, Japan's got... Big cities with a lot of people, not a lot of parking spaces. This is this is an appropriate car for driving around in Japanese cities. Probably would yeah, their cars get are along well in like Boston ours. and New York, where you've got those tight, tiny uh, roads. On that um, note, you know what else really helps you get around those tight cities like that when you get your car parked? Don't. It's a little don't. scooter. No. That's right. That's right. <laughs> no. That's right. No. For some reason, Skids does not come with the scooter. That um, is my biggest gripe with this toy. That's that just it didn't gripe. come with a scooter, right? Like originally, the toy that's, didn't? That's true. They removed the scooter for the G1 toy, and I think they're probably going off that. And the Diaclone toys all came with it. And since there were no repaints of skids in G1, I think that was, like you said, they're trying to homage Diaclone as well as Transformers. And, you know, in the Japanese way, they find their, like, little ways to do these things, and you have to kind of read between the lines. Because Crosscut was an e-hobby thing, and he actually came with the scooter. So he'll have his scooter. I was reading that earlier. I did not realize when I opened my skids that he didn't have a scooter. I was looking around through the box, thought I had dropped it, looked on the floor. I literally went and pulled up uh, listings for skids on, like, Big Bad Toy Store. And I'm flipping through the images, and it's like, no, there's, there's no scooter in the listing pictures. Um, so I was I was uh, sad by that, and, and he comes with different guns as well than um, than Reboost. Where's my scooter? Yeah, so it's here funny it. that Go you ahead. say that because I was thinking kind of the same thing. Was like I wish I had the scooter, and I was like, mm-hmm. well, I would have had to get Reboost, who really isn't anybody. And then I thought, but Skids isn't really anybody in the first place, so would it would have really mattered. Not this Skids. No, not this Skids. There have been. More prolific skids. Oh, well, one. Like that one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. This so is the guns? first time I've played with this toy in five years. And my gosh, is he just a floppy mess? I just, it, 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 I do wish, you know, that, that, that MMC would do a new skids for us because this is just, this is not good. He sure knows the look, though. He, he, he nails the look like with the head sculpt, but it just, he doesn't move right, and it, no, is, ah, it just frustrates me. He looks and good the, myself. Yeah, and then the backpack. But then the backpack's all sort of weird, and maybe I have a mistransform. I don't know. But it just, it's close, but not quite there. And it made me realize, like, yeah, we we, we haven't had a ton of Skids toys. And I, I would say, I would say. Till now. Well, yeah, we've got We're two, two that are coming out with. Well, and XTB year. just did one, you know. A year or two ago as well. Yeah. But they're all you know, this and, G1 and, version, not, not yes. the IDW one. Yeah. Got to start somewhere, though. I meant to bring my alternators in the room. It's actually on my couch because I got it out to Oh, my God. I forgot about alternator skids. I had yeah. him. He's a yeah. He's a thing. He is a thing. He was actually on my MP shelf until now. He's being replaced with his yeah. true MP self. But, but, but I would what? say G1 skids is my second. Is this probably the second best skids toy they've done. And this is the first? Yeah. 
so what is a what weapons does Reboost come with? Because I haven't looked at those. Um, or sorry, the skids, skids come with because Reboost comes with like one that's just two arrows that basically yeah. plug on. Then another one that has a little bit of a notch that goes on. It's kind of a blaster. Okay, so they both have the two like blaster ones. Because of this just got, yes, that's what this one is for Reboost. Yeah, well, I think it, it, the it's a li- they're a little different. They're they're molded a little different, but the same the same deal. Yeah, they go on his lower arms. If you have the boxes, you can see the accessories <laughs> included. <laughs> actually, know that one that clamps on there. That's actually quite different. I could see it a little better on Phil's. No. Yes. I know my, uh, mine's not helpful. My my webcam sucks. But one thing is, about G1 yeah. skids is he and came he with like with an actual gun. He came with a lot more accessories than than most uh, G1 figures. I mean, it's debatable. I mean, it's not like a blanket statement, but he had a lot. Have three guns. Yeah, they and have, like missile launchers and a gun and missiles and stuff, but not just three actual go on your hands or in your hands or on your arm guns. So what they tried to do here is they tried to really mix up the accessories between Reboost and Skids, and I think they expected Skids to sell more, so they gave him less accessories, and they gave Reboost, like, all the accessories that Skids didn't come with, even, like, the hologram pilot and the scooter. I I have to say, I am tempted to buy Reboost to get the other accessories. (laughs) But you'll have another opportunity pretty soon. We'll talk about that soon. Mm -hmm. Because we'll have Crosscut, too. And you can open the back thing too, the back door on it. So it's got like those little bit of, you know, working car features along with, you know. Yeah, the the back door and the side doors open and the hood opens. So it's cool to have those features. And it just looks really nice. Like I I actually do like it when they look like, it's just cool to have figures that look like the old cars. You know, like these are 80s cars. It's neat. It feels feels very alternators too. Yes. To to, to like include those features. Let me ask you this, Anna, since you have it in alt mode, mine didn't stay in alt mode very long. If you compare the alt mode of skids to the alt mode of recent G1 car MPs, where where does this stand? I like it better. Okay. I like it because it's it's such a spitting image of the real car. I don't know, that's just kind of a neat feature, like... Like we were saying, it's kind of like the alternator thing, where it looks like a real car and turns into the best robot it possibly can while being the real car. I think that's a neat feature. I want every toy in my collection to be that, but it's fun when it is. So what do we want to get into next? Probably the robot mode. That's all that's left, right? (laughs) Well, no, Anna, you brought up a good point as we were prepping for this. You, you said this was the only MP that you felt comfortable doing what with it? Transforming while we're on the show, because I'm about to do it. Yeah. So this so, is... You go ahead. I think that's a, a big talking point about this toy. That is probably the... Maybe the least complicated MP toy ever. Certainly the least complicated of the last three or four years. Um, I mean, I mean, I think Sideswipe and the car bots are are probably a little simpler, but I mean, honestly, all of them are simple. Yeah. So. It is. I, I brought down for comparison. I don't have Hound open yet because I'm still terrified to open him. But I brought down my Sunstreaker uh, as a comparison as a recent car bot. Oh, good God. And, and it is. This is so much more of a complex toy. I mean, you can yes. just just look at all the more paneling. Look at the backpack. Look at how many more panels are squeezed in Sunstreaker's backpack versus Skids. It's it's you can you can just see it how many more parts there are in Sunstreaker than there are in Skids. I'm not saying Skids is bad. I, I had Skids to as Rob alluded to one of my top toys of 2021. I, I really like him, but but he is a more simple toy. My my seven year old got really far in transforming him to robot mode uh, on his own. You know, a lot of people so, don't like modern MP for, you know, two reasons. One is price, and this one's the price is down a bit, um, and complexity, and this one isn't complex at all. Um, that doesn't mean yeah. you still may not like MP, and that's totally fine. Um, but it's definitely a lot simpler. Um, it's it's or, very or, light. Or because they also have, like, a ridiculous backpack slapped on their back. Bumblebee. <clears throat> <laughs> um, 
but there's also a lot less paint on this compared to past several years of MP. Um, in car so? mode, in car mode, most stuff is painted. In robot mode, not as much. Um, I mean, there is still plenty painted, but you know, the blue and the black is just paint. Plenty of the red parts, like the fake back windows, are just red plastic. You know, a lot of the inner legs is just plastic. Um, I don't know if the silver is paint or molded. No, it's paint. Yeah, the silver's paint because it's red pieces on the inside. But yet, you wouldn't see that on most other MP figures. But you know, you know I, like, even though he has less paint than other MP figures, you could say he still has significantly more details than his cartoon model. <laughs> yeah. Like, a lot more details than his cartoon model. He's still closer to the to, to the G1 toy. He doesn't have as many details as that. Because that thing was stickered to hell, of course. I mean, he definitely has some details on him that are from the cartoon. I think more than the yeah. toy, but I, I can't remember. But in some ways, he's, you know, fairly far off. It's mainly the arms. The arms really stick out. And Skids, like Huffer, is one of those G1 toy uh, cartoon models that just has really weird shoulder arm things going on. Um, here they just went with a much more simpler and nice looking shoulder, but you know, it's not accurate if you're a cartoon person. That was always one of the things that was memorable to me. Yeah, they so, gave him I, good arms, which is yeah. to me an improvement. Like, I, it's not accurate. It is not accurate at all. He should have awful arms. And that's, and that's what this one has, is awful, awful arms. Uh, it's kind of awful <laughs> everything though. Yeah, the bunny rabbit feet. Um, They're awful in a different way. Rebooster, I, I think, suffers a little bit more than Skids does. Talking about paint, I feel like Skids has, you know, it, at least with the different colored blue that they used on the arms, even if it's maybe not as much paint, it gives it more color variation when it's standing on your shelf. So you know, I did like that. When I, when I first saw pictures of it, when I saw in-hand pictures of it, I thought it actually looked terrible. Um, and then when I got it in hand, like, no, that, that does make it stand out. The, the blue on the arms is close to the blue on the head. It's a, you can tell it's the difference between the mold color versus the paint color of the blue. But, but I do think that the two tone blue help him to be um, just a more interesting looking figure. And I think rebooster has what, just the same color red, just about all over it. Correct. Um, the paint and the plastic match up really well. Yeah. Like, I mean, you can always tell the difference, you know, but it doesn't stick out at all. And it, yeah, it's all supposed to be the same color red and it pretty much is. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's twice. You said it rebooster. Is this like the, I thought this the, was the COVID was bot? Rebooster. Yeah. He's like, no. he's like the spokesperson for Walgreens. <laughs> like, hey, fourth shot for you, buddy. I'm reboosting. <laughs> um, no, my mistake. Reboost. Um, but but even even the idea of reboost sounds bizarre. Uh, anyways, it um, is a weird name. It, it's not the greatest yeah. name. No, it's a terrible name. But it's it's a slapdash name, right? Like it's a new name. Uh, slapdash is is a name. <laughs> Ooh, I would love to get a masterpiece figure but that I think is it's gonna true. yeah so like I'm a slow transformer transformer and that didn't take me very long at all oh, wow. something that I wasn't worried about doing you know I didn't do it exactly on camera I did like under my boxes but that's because that's eye level <laughs> but anyway he's not he's not difficult to transform and for me that's just so much better because it's like yeah he isn't as complex as sunstreaker he doesn't have that like wild super nice looking figure look of sunstreaker but he still looks like a very nice figure but it's still a toy he hasn't got into that like art piece i don't want to touch on my shelf level i want to play with it so i in fact transformed it three times today just so i could get like you know a feel of how it is actually as a toy and it feels like just as good of a toy as the retail figures we usually talk about on here it actually feels like a good toy i guarantee this will be better than legacy skids which just looks like garbage before we even have it this skids looks real bad mini masterpiece okay <laughs> so sunstreaker anna to your point once you get him in robot mode he has almost more of an action figure sort of 
proportions to him. Oh, he he doesn't lovely. have, yeah, he doesn't have proportions like G1 Transformers do, where you can yeah. tell it is a car that that it is a robot that comes from a car. Skids has much more of those proportions that this is a, a a a robot that becomes a car, and he's a little bit chunky. Um, you've got the big, you know, kind of G1 uh, giant calves. You know, he just just stands on his toes all day doing his calves races. Kind of skinny and awkward. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you've got some gappage underneath here, underneath the hood, where where the chest meets there. So, you know, one thing I was thinking, like, you know, kind of joking about mini masterpiece. I almost feel like Skids, MP Skids, is what the main line would have like evolved into if they, if they kept improving their engineering around transformation, he's like an upsized main line figure with more detail. Um, but in terms of like transformation, like I, I would almost say the, the most recent kingdom tracks is, you know, maybe a couple steps below this in terms of complexity of transformation. Um, certainly doesn't hold together as well as not as nice of a figure, but just in terms of the engineering, the transformation, he is skids is more complex than what we've gotten from mainline. But there was a time where mainline was getting pretty complex in the transformations. And I think skids is, you know, kind of on par with what that was. And and again, significant steps back than what the masterpieces have been. I think he's a good proof of the fact that you don't have to be super complex to still be a really good looking toy in both modes. Cause yeah. like one of the things I've been so impressed about with these little guys with my little bumblebee and cliff jumper from new age is just that they actually aren't complex or difficult figures. They look like they would be, I mean, it looks like MP 45 in bot mode and it looks like a, you know, decent little beetle in vehicle mode, but it takes a lot of shortcuts and cheat codes to get to both places and therefore comes out to be an easy to play with fun figure that also looks great. And I really think that's what skids is. Um, and I, that, that, that bumblebee you just held up and just thinking in my head, like that's a really cool looking choking hazard right there. <laughs> <laughs> now, watch I out with that's pretty easy. Yeah. No, I would, you know, again, and kind of like a throwback to the older masterpieces, like he has good articulation. It is missing, though, some of the stuff you would expect to see in most masterpiece or masterpiece substitutes today. Um, although, you know, plenty of figures are missing something here or there. But like, you know, he has really good knees, you know, really good arm articulation. His legs, interestingly, purposefully don't go back. Like it's blocked on purpose. You can't they won't go back. But, you know, oh, I don't know that that's ever really important. But RC you know, was like that too, right? I don't remember. I got a I got a big question because I you know no ab my, crunch, no butterfly joints. Is it's there a happen. is there a masterpiece moment in this toy? I didn't think no. there was one. No. A little so, bit maybe with the calves and the legs this would be the closest spot I thought of that. But does, does it have really. waist level? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, normally Take that swivel. star scream. And a, and and a swivel, swivel, ankle tilt, ankle rocker. Yeah. yeah, it has all that. It has ankle rocker, but not like toe tilt, but I've never understood toe tilt that much anyways. <laughs> so. The only like complaint I would have about it as a looking figure, like since I like to pose my toys and make them do stuff, is that the, the neck assembly is a little odd. Like it's just, it's more or less another floating head because there isn't really anything for the back of his neck to rest on. I was looking at the, um, I was looking to see if there were any saving graces to the new um, mainline figure, the legacy figure coming out. And I was like, oh, his neck actually sits on something. That's better. And then everything else was way worse. I mean, the neck looks fine to me, because it just looks like it's on a peg like most heads. However, yeah, but it's there's nothing really... behind it. I mean, you can rock it back, but it lets him look up really, really far up. Really, really far up. Yeah, uh, but so you can use the transformation joint for that. Yeah, but the head is honestly hard to mess with. It way, is. It's like tucked in there, and I'm an adult, and I'm a fat adult, and I'm a huge fat adult with really big hands, even if I wasn't fat. And it's the things. It's hard to get in there with my chungus fingers. No, it, and it's, it's really hard stiff to get in too. there with non chungus fingers. 
Yeah. No, it is stiff and hard to move just because he has that kind of canopy thing going. Like, it's not like the ridiculous level of canopy that some figures have, but. Yeah, there's no, there's no masterpiece moment in the transformation. And while the articulation is definitely very good, it's honestly kind of standard at the same time. You know, a lot of Takara produced masterpieces have some like, you know, even like you get Starscream where they, for some reason, didn't work in a waist joint. But then, like, they'll have, like, you know, again, crazy butterflies and, you know, and all this other stuff that you wouldn't expect. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's good and it's totally fine. I mean, I think but, you know, it's, again, it's the price. I, I was going to say, I think it's interesting, like, the articulation stuff. Because I feel like for a while, you know, it's like all of these companies came out with, like, you know, crazy articulation. And I feel like Takara and, and, and fan stories both have kind of taken a little bit of a step back in in a couple of areas where like I know RC there was a couple things like this guy is a couple things I think fans toys like there wasn't a waist swivel fans uh, toys thing. really toned it back yeah. they've toned it back in articulation on a bunch of figures especially the mini bots a lot of them they, they cut it out there and I don't think they overall hurt that much for it but it, it is like oh you know I, I missed that I, I liked having that I don't think the car is cut back I think for aesthetic reasons, they chopped Starscream's waist. Well, that's what I think it's, it's part of it is, could, is like aesthetic stuff. Like I know uh, RC yeah. is kind of saying, like, weren't there some the legs or something like that where it wasn't? RC's a reg. Legs don't move I don't back. Know. Yeah, yeah RC's and regs don't move back. It's funny um, because on her that was like bothersome, but on him it doesn't bother me. I think that's just because nothing else really bothers me about this toy. Where RC makes me want to not buy it, which I did not do. I mean, yeah. I was if if you're someone that like loved, you know, the sideswipe, prowl, that era of masterpieces, and when we got into like right. Ironhide and Ratchet, you're kind of like, uh, um, but you still want to like masterpieces, you know, like you got Christian who's just like, Man, fuck that, I'm out, um, and Lucas who's like, I can't touch it because then I want to buy it all. I'm just gonna stay away from all of it. But if you're somebody like Anna who can be more of I buy what I like and I get rid of what I don't like, it's a good figure that you'll you'll pick up and you'll be happy with. You know? This was perfect for me. This was right. when I when I started seeing pictures of it, I like actually, you know, because my, my husband likes to buy me a nice a figure tear. for Christmas. So I was like, this is perfect because I can ask for this for Christmas. It'll be something really cool that I'll nerd out over. Right. And I have, and I'm excited about it. And it's just, it feels so much better. Like, I haven't put Hound back in Jeep mode. I've owned that toy for like two years now, right? I, I think that thing came out two years ago. It feels like six months ago. Um, and I haven't put it back in Jeep mode because I don't want to break it. I know it's valuable. I know it's a good toy and it looks good in robot mode, but it doesn't look good in broken robot mode. So I'm trying to avoid that. Well, um, I think, I well, think Hound's that's... problem is different. Hound's problem is a, a materials issue. Yeah. Like, I, I've transformed it back and forth a few times. And, like, I mean, I love that figure. And I, the transformation, I think, is really fun. I mean, again, you're not going to do it in five minutes, though. Um, yeah. I, find it, I find it a lengthy transformation, but I find it very intuitive. And, you know, I'm not, like, I, forcing parts past one another. I think it's really like that, mainly but... that, that issue. Like, you know, you've seen everyone, or not everyone, but you've seen a lot Everybody's of Everybody's got to crack things. something. And right. Just like... a matter of time, it right. feels yeah. like. And right. I don't want to give it that that time. Sunstreaker, I did transform a few times. And, like, he takes a long time, but he was comfortable and didn't feel like he was going to break. Right. But, um, you know, one thing they know that Phil hit on, and, and Rob, you did too, is is that... Like, this is what I wish Masterpiece was. Because, like, where Ugh. it's nice, like, they're essentially almost mainline toys, but they're nicer. So it looks really nice in car mode. It's fun to mess with, all that type of thing. You don't have to worry about breaking it. Like, if you kind of want to play it with your kids, you kind of can. But it's it, you don't feel like that there's something where they, like, you know, that they were... Um, like the, the budget played into it. Whereas like, I feel like, like this blaster, like I love everything about this, but like the one thing, all of these main lines, oops, is like your, the, these arms, you know what I mean? Like this little, this little piece here where there was, there's no cover over the arm and there's probably going to be an upgrade kit for that. But 
you know, like that's the thing that you don't have to worry as much about masterpiece with. I agree, Paul. Yeah. But so you, you, I, you want to, you, you like this, you like the bastard piece that Skid sort of represents, which is pre cartoon, accurate, crazy, expensive, complicated masterpiece. Like my theory, and I have no basis on this, is that this is an old design that they put in the cupboard until this Honda City thing could happen. Because it's entirely the pri- possible. Price lines up, the transformation style lines up. There's nothing innovative about skids but it's a nice toy i'm getting snobby here but i mean it is it is definitely from the shogo hasui like era you know of of the the car brothers and they've already made three repaints of this so it almost makes sense that they had it kind of in the works you know maybe yeah. near near the end maybe before um god where did things start changing like before MP, before Megatron, you know, yeah, before I, they started I doing started Beast changing Wars. it, um, either Inferno or Ratchet or Hound, yeah. or not, sorry, it, Ratchet or Ironhide. This I seems think like Ratchet a figure. Ironhide we're still fond. Yeah, it, I think it, this just kind of got lost in the shuffle because we don't really yeah. know how the business side of this works. Like yeah. they get designs, they make decisions, and things change through the through the years. And maybe this, they're like, Honda City's like, hey who's got a toy we can do? And they're like, we do. We got this old thing that is pretty, you know, decent, which I think it is, but it's a bastard piece. This is a mini masterpiece. It's how, I, like, it's, you can sit it with your masterpieces, but it's obviously a notch down. Um, I mean, it would be cool if Mainline would step up, but I don't want to see Masterpiece step down to meet a price point. That's not what the line's about. So, so right. I, I'm not saying I that I need that. Masterpiece to do that. I What I'm saying is... is I, I you would like it. That's what I would want. So that's where, like, I don't mind if, if Mainline goes up in price, but they go up in quality, or if Masterpiece goes down in price and down in quality. I'm okay. I'm just saying that's what I want. I'm sure there's a lot of people that don't want that, like you, Rob, but, you know, hey. Yeah. For me, this is a premium transformer toy, and that's that's what I like. Like, it looks premium. It looks nice. It looks fancy. It doesn't have the stupid flaws that Lucas was pointing out, like the the holes in the lower arms. It doesn't have any of that stuff. And this is right what back. I want. I wish MP would have stayed here. I really do. Um, even if it would have made Rob sad, that's okay because there still would have been third party figures for him to buy. It would have been fine. So, so I have an idea that I just want to float by here real quickly. And um, I'm glad Rob's back on so we can hear this idea. What if, what if Shout out to Takara ideas. is just seceding the really high-end Transformers to third party? And they're like, listen, no. we have so... I, 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 you're probably right. It's probably a no. Obviously, Starscream, super high-end and high price. But what if this is them testing the waters to say, like, all right, we'll let people buy the fans' toys and the X Trans bots and spend 100, 200 bucks on a toy? We're going to make, you know, bring MP down to sub 100 for this size toy. And that's what we're going to do. And, and Just- maybe their numbers were saying that, maybe maybe the numbers on their sales were saying, like, hey, man, if we, if we get these back to under 100, we can sell a lot more units. Before everyone tells Phil that, that he's wrong, before everyone tells him that he's wrong, I want to say that that would be congruent with what the train bots look like. Because the train bots look more like this era of figure. Oh, they don't oh, have the... We no. did it! The train what? bots are really expensive. They're like very. Oh, wait. Yeah, oh, wait, they're that, expensive, they... but they're also huge. Not the MPG Raiden ones. They're pretty big, aren't they? Mm-hmm. Are you thinking of the Moon You're studios? thinking of Zeta. No, I'm yeah. not yeah, thinking Yeah, the Moon the studio, the those, Zeta ones are. Yeah, or the Moon, moon stuff, those look like cartoon accurate. The Takara stuff doesn't look like anything. It looks like toys. Nobody knows what they're doing with that, because those things are really heavily, overly engineered. Insanely. They, so we tell that from they look like kibble accurate. <laughs> you think um, they're really engineered though like I, I feel like i have to play with them first they're focusing on the train yeah they are for the robot because the, the whole th- the whole thing's about the train it's right it's it's a confusing decision but it's because we don't live in japan you know we're yeah 
Um, and, and you could probably Americans. argue that that's the same case with skids here, that they focused on the car first. It's a perfect Japanese car. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Um, that, that's something that, would... that I've always wanted to have a conversation with you know, Chakar and Hasbro Transformers designers is like, what do you start with first? The the alt mode or the robot? And and obviously there's some where, you know, Cyclonus, you're going to start with the robot first and then probably work backwards. And other well, ones just, where you're going to well, start with a more iconic vehicles. Just ask Rick to get Aaron Archer on and you can ask him that question. And he's answered it many times in the past. Yeah. They start with the car. Yeah, they have to carve it up. If so, this had as many parts as Sunstreaker, it would not look as good as a vehicle. Like it no. would, it would be a much more like gappy lines in it vehicle. It's a pretty clean toy car looking Honda City. I, I do say one thing that I really enjoy about this toy that we haven't touched upon. We we talked about the accessories a little bit. I love the way the guns hold on to it because this is this is his gun and it looks like he's holding a pistol. It, and it's it's a trick. There is no handle that that's in the pistol that he holds on to. It's just this little clip that that uses friction to to hold on to into his forearm there. And honestly, I would really prefer if if they were able to work that into some future MP design. Have because, you played with G1 skids? Uh no, no. That's why he doesn't hold his guns. They slip over yeah. his arm. No, I, um, I, I but know it, but that. it does. I, I, it works out so great here. They're it, tensioned it, it, well. It they does. pop and in. I feel like that's one of my biggest complaints with some of the MPs is they have that little like notch the in their palm, and it's always just like falling out of the hand. It doesn't fit well, yeah. It's crap. This they have yeah. never done it right ever. No, it's always awful. <laughs> it is, and this is such an effective cheat. Um, yeah, I think it is. So, like when we talk about masterpiece figures, what I went and got was XTB Savant. Which is the reason why I got Reboost is because I already have a Masterpiece Skids that I find much more cartoon accurate and actually feels like a Masterpiece figure. Like, you know what? Like, this figure's not perfect. I'm not going to pretend that it is. But it checks most of the bo boxes for me, and including the look. And when you pick it up, it's like, oh, it's a Masterpiece figure. You know, like you can tell in five seconds, things are different. <laughs> you know, there's it has a lot of weight, more, much more paint, and just that finish and that look and that feel. Um, again, this isn't bad, but it so it's so different it's cool for a one-off i would be very disappointed if like that was the future <laughs> of the line that being said like we haven't heard much i don't think we know anything about the next beast wars and all we know for g1 is the cliff jumper that still hasn't been announced and you know and trains Sky Wars and and the trains yeah so which technically is a different line just a related line so i i don't know it's weird i don't know if they're trying to Figure weird. out what they're doing, or if they're just, or it's like with MP44, we didn't get any masterpiece for a year until MP44 came out. It was like all of 2019 or 2018, nothing came out that year. I want to remind you though, Rob, last time you were like, is masterpiece dead? I've Literally, never said that. you asked the question. It's just kind I was of on slow. the show. I was on the show, and literally less than a week later, MP Shockwave Plus, MP Megatron Plus. There was like three, it was like yeah. five announcements, and you're like, I think you were like, Whoo, I'm, we're back, baby. You know, it was a positive. So I don't is think Tokyo it's dead. I'm just Show curious, happening? Like, what are they doing? Well, I'm just saying, now that you've yeah. like kind of like, oh, I voiced it. You're dipping your toe in that. We're about to get the fucking pain train of MP in the <laughs> next few months. Is is um, Tokyo Toy Show happening, or did they cancel that? We, I don't live in Tokyo, dude. I don't well, know. No what I was going to say is is that Tokyo Toy Show is normally around the same time as Toy Fair, which is in February. So, like, I could see where they you're not making any announcements because you're going to, like, you're going to hit a bunch of stuff, like, yeah. then. Um, that's actually, exactly like, what happened the, last. Pre, the premier convention is, like, PFCon. That's where Hound, MP Hound, was announced. So... You know, maybe yeah. that's not how I remember it. I don't remember a lot of details from those PF cons, but <laughs> I don't remember okay. that. Yeah. I um. wanted to say something that is ridiculous, but also like might actually be cool for some people is that if you wanted a more cartoon accurate look, you can pull a Galvatron and flip his arms around backwards. If you swim <laughs> all the way around <laughs> and now his arms are lower. Yeah. Cause, cause in the but, cartoon, but they don't his have the arms dumb. were weighed out at his rib cage. Yeah. 
Yeah, XTB doesn't do that. You can lower them quite a bit, though, but not that low. Does but they have the box damage, account. though? That's what it's I really want, is battle damage. No battle damage. Space so sorry. Mud. Just wait for premium fetish skins. God, I mean, looking at you compare those toys, Rob, like, that thing looks so dumpy to me. And you're saying, it like, this is, this is a masterpiece. I'm like, The proportions are, are chonky. Yeah, I mean, welcome to Cartoon G1, right? Like, it's dorky, and I like it in spite of its dorkiness. Like, I mean, that fan's toys that... huffer looks absolutely ridiculous. So I had to get Yeah. It. <laughs> True. I, 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 think, I, I just think they went the right order. way. M MP Skids, Takara, went, made the right decisions for this figure. He's such a nobody. Whether it's, He's such yeah. a nobody. It's fine. Do what yeah, you want. No no one's going to go nuts over like his shoulders are wrong. You know, like it's not going to happen. It's, it's good. It's fine. Skids the truth is, is one for... of my favorite C list transformers though. More like he's H. A... Like the he's truth is, a... I was just going to say, he's a very nice looking transformer when he's done well. Like he hasn't gotten to be done well before since G1. Like you all said earlier, and he is a very nice looking transformer when he's done well. As unrepresented as he is, he's very nice. What, what was it? What was the consensus on the alternator? Because I thought the alternator was awesome. As he's pretty cool. He's a different the car. ankles on it are really terrible on that mold. It is so top heavy. Getting the ankles for that thing to stand up. It's I know because it's over there. It's I've actually I think I think it's going to go in my sale pile finally. But um, yeah, I sold my alternators. Long. I don't know how long ago, so I don't remember that well. But I thought he was poor proportion because of the the scion van yeah. that that he was or the scion he, he's the one you put in the back left corner so he can lean against the wall so you don't yes. have to worry about when those ankles yeah. are going to fall out it's the ball all, joint. did they, did they also do a red one of that last year um, yeah uh, pretty sure it was no, he was gray he was gray but no, they didn't do a red one they didn't also do a red one? Oh. looking at skids he had flames before optimus prime <laughs> So, no, I Michael think the Bay alternator did, but the vinyl tech did. Yeah, yeah I think um, that's right. And like, the truth is, as far as G1 Masterpiece goes, um, Takara really obviously went super duper slow on the line as a whole. Like, even if they did decide, hey, we're going to go back to the old style, third party has plugged almost every nook and cranny with cartoon accurate stuff for you know the first two years of the show. Which are you know kind of their heyday. Um, obviously, combiners are a big miss, and then you know headmasters down. There's only a, a few scant figures, but yeah. you know that. Well, I mean, I, I think you can blame third party for the slowdown of masterpiece because the sales have that's dried that's up. That's ridiculous. It's not ridiculous. Well, one one of us would we'd have to have numbers to see we what should, happens. We should have a show but topic of this. We could all speculate. With, like, no with no actual data to support anything. <laughs> I would huh. stay home. I have some data to tell you, but I'm not sharing that. <laughs> yeah, it's a... Uh, well, that's really useful data then, Paul. A peer-reviewed study that no ass. peer can review. I know, it's just... What you, it's surprising what you, me how... Did I, did I call it a peer-reviewed fucking study, Phil? No, I didn't. I said it's my private info. Uh, but no, it's... I don't know, it's surprising to me how little they've done with the line over time. You know, so slow release on any of it. Um, and then there's, I don't know, there's a lot they could have gone to. Like, there's a bunch of mini bots, you know, all yeah. simpler, smaller, cheaper toys, you know, to work on. There's obviously everything in the movie. You don't have to worry about licensing for any of that stuff. And they've barely dabbled in the movie stuff, you know. Well, the, Just the thing, shit like the that thing I wonder with some of these is, is that, um, especially with a lot of these car bots, is you do have collectors that collect cars. And so they look sure. for sales from those guys, too. So it's not just necessarily Transformer fans, but it's also people that collect model cars. And so I, I wonder if that's part of the reason that they're trying to hit these kind of ones rather than the ones that just don't have any kind of likeness from them just because they are worried about sales of those. I am super possible. dubious of any of that, but I don't have any data. I, I, I knew some car guys that, at least with the alternators line, they were buying those because yeah. of, especially the second wave of packaging where it was like the bigger clamshell, those displayed yeah. very nice. And, and, you know, they, but the price point on that was obviously a lot easier. Yeah, cargo is 
car guys, car guys liked alternators because they were about the same price as diecast cars at the time. Yeah. Yeah. So. And they folded but, into robots. But yeah, look to uh, a future microcasters where we actually review the mini masterpiece skids uh, here <laughs> here in the future. Christian and I can. Oh. Compare and contrast. Um, oh. See how much of a yeah. I'll bring this one to the show. Twenty dollars. We'll talk about. Uh, yeah, we'll talk it's about a rip off okay to pay more. One dollar. Right, yeah, so it's not twenty dollars. It'll be twenty five. Whatever, whatever deluxe will be at that time. I, I don't know why twenty five dollars price point means he has to have horrible proportions. It doesn't. Yes. A lot of other toys are that price point, and they look fine. Yeah, I know. That's what I was alluding to. And I mean, for me, it's just like you have to be comfortable. The reason I won't commit to a single line is you have to be comfortable that every line is going to have misses. Like every toy line is going to have crap toys in it. And if you buy every figure from a single line, you're going Except to end up with crap toys. Line. I mean, oh, whatever. Every, everyone is just a home Nonsense. run. Nonsense. <laughs> every single one. Home run with battle damage. For like exactly. four releases with slowly less battle damage oh, you with each release. Look, 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 you just had to wait a year for them to re-release the figure without that battle damage, and then you're fine. You're golden. Look, he's got a new uh, window with uh, accurate movie battle damage. New pink hat. So, so yeah, yeah, if... If you, were all, tracks in the chat. if you were interested in this figure, if you ever had interest in masterpiece figures but thought they got too expensive or too complex, but you still dug them, you'll enjoy any release of this mold. You know, um, if you don't care about the character, Reboost comes with a dinky little bike thingy for some reason, a little scooter. Uh, it doesn't do much, and it is not much. It's nothing to get worked up over. Do the wheels um, at least roll? Oh, wow. oh. Okay. no, it, it's all one solid piece of black plastic down here. And all oh. of this over here is one solid piece of black plastic. This Cross part like, comes will up. come with the scooter. I don't know what the hell this is for, if it's supposed to sink down in there, but Did it doesn't matter. Do you ask if Crosscut comes with the scooter? He does. He does, yes. So, yeah, buy whatever one you so think So what you're saying is, is this is the wheelie type accessory to the Grimlock. It ain't that bad. Yeah, and the... <laughs> The U.S. release of this one with the with the slipcover doesn't come out till like March, right? Yeah, March twenty twenty three probably. Okay, and then I think that Crosscut is scheduled for summer. Yeah, Senator Crosscut. Senator Crosscut, yes. I love that little nod they put in there. It's very and cute. It, and again, the I think the which which figure has the notch in the hood? Is it Skids or is it Reboost? Yes. Skids has the, the the little bump. Oh my god. Okay, never mind. Because Crosscut, yeah. Crosscut, who is the plus of Skids, does not have the bump in his hood. And I was gonna say, oh, oh it's because god. the car model's the same. Think, That's why they did it. No. I think it was Ron in the chat who said that's probably because Skids is the turbo of the car. Yeah. Can uh, Rob? Can I see your chest again? All right. Yeah. Probably <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that show Rick chest. wants. Rick would be so bad. Oh, okay. Yeah, I can see the difference in the front end because yeah, this has the little, the little turbo insignia right here, where there's a yeah. little bit more molding detail in that, and yours doesn't have that, Rob. So okay. But so apparently, is it... Skids is faster than Boost than, than Reboost. So why huh. isn't Crosscut fifty four plus? To, just... Because fuck you, Paul. Yeah. Just but doesn't fuck Crosscut you. have that's it. doesn't Crosscut Ooh, have the same head as Skids? No. No. Crosscut has no. the same head as Reboost. Wait, which which honestly, looks Crosscut kind of like is Optimus Prime. It's like up. It's pretty it's similar to Optimus Prime. Yeah, yeah, it's not Optimus Prime, but there's a lot of similarities. Yeah, when I saw that, I was like, you know, this could really be an update to Alternator Optimus Prime. It's no, not character. Alternator. Um, what was what was the the line of cars they did after Alternators in Japan? Alternity. Alternity. That reminds me of the Alternity Prime. Was he a new figure? Yeah. Oh yeah. That, that, I guess he was. Yeah. It was. It, they made a whole line out of one toy. <laughs> yeah. Hey, there was like two. There was an alternative. No, there was three. Oh, yeah, because yeah, the B cliff jumper was really. I've bad. always wanted the alternative B. It's really bad. You do not want it. I wanted it just because it's Bumblebee. I, I, I had a total loser like that. For for your Bumblebee collection. 
I have a Bumblebee collection, and it bothers me way less than the old Ultra Magnus collection. That thing made me sad. Bumblebee does not. It was crazy going to New Zealand and seeing the alternative Bumblebee and Cliff Jumper like all over the place, like the actual car. I was like, whoa, I know that. Oh, the, the car is based on. All right, I thought you meant you're like going to like New Zealand toy stores. <laughs> no, no, like the, I was driving to my Airbnb and I saw like literally the yellow version of whatever car that is i was like i know that (laughs) you're like you're like sitting at a sheep crossing as as one of them's parked next to you i was in the city but it's like that's a transformer you mean they don't have sheep in the city not that i saw no i couldn't i couldn't decide if i wanted a sheep or a hobbit joke and i went with a sheep joke i did not i did see mount doom it was quite majestic Awesome. When, hey, when have we had ratchet joints on uh, MPs this, this size? I don't know. I really don't, I don't remember. Probably. I think Hound does, but I'm not sure. Okay. Yeah, most of the stuff is just hand. friction. It's just his hips. The forward yeah. Yeah. movement on the hips. I have it. They're loud enough ratchets that they scare my dogs and make them run away. <laughs> so do you yeah, think they're we'll loud. get... Do you think we'll get three more repaints, redecos of this? No. Because there's, there's at least three that there's, we could get. There's the green one. Um, Scree- screech and, and skids, I guess. <laughs> yeah. But that one's red, which we kind of already have. Isn't it? Or no, he's orange. Yeah. Yeah, it's orange and green where those, like, they were supposed to be, like, movie homages. Yeah. Yeah. And then yeah. there's the black one, which I expect to be like a Decepticon, but I'm not sure. And that's supposed to be Burnout. It wouldn't no. surprise me, but it also wouldn't surprise me if they're done with it. Like, that's a lot right at once for no-name characters. You know, like, usually they trickle those repaints out later to kind of, you know, give you a smooth flow between new molds and stuff. But It was just so crazy that all of a sudden it's like, here... Well, they released Skids and Reboost at the same time, and then, like, yeah. before before people had even decided if they wanted Skids or Reboost, they're like, oh, and here's Crosscut, baby! Yeah. With Senator a confusing Crosscut. number. Senator. Well, this is a... Is this officially the longest Microcasters episode ever? No, I... Who knows? No, there, there is a... No, there's a marathon one from a long time ago. Okay. I remember Sorry. specifically which one that was. But you know, but we did go longer than I think the four pack episode went. So we we have gone double the normal length of microcasters. Microcasters yeah. is usually about thirty minutes. We have gone a little over an hour. And that's only like, Rob like has given his recommendation on the figure. So I'll give mine real fast. Is that I think if you're a transforming toy collector and you enjoy good transforming toys, this is a good toy to get, and you don't mind the price point. I like it a lot. Um, Love it. I, I hope I made that very transparent. I like it. I recommend it. Go buy it. Go whichever version you want. Go buy it. I, and, and honestly, I might get reboost because I like the extra weapons and I still think it's a good toy. And and I don't know. I, so if I find someone selling reboost for cheap on Facebook, I'll pick it up. I might get cross cut actually, just because I think the colors on it look really cool. I gotta look at that one a little bit more. Yeah, I this would say. Better. The box is totally worth it, and you should totally get it uh, because it's a bastard piece toy, and you know it's maybe better left in the box. Ron did bring up a, an MP. I don't think we've mentioned tonight. Uh, Nightbird is coming as well. Oh yeah, yeah. freaking Nightbird. Yeah. We don't. We don't care. <laughs> Just saying, <laughs> but it's coming. I have that on pre-order right now because I'm ridiculous. It's I cool mean, that Nightbird getting a masterpiece toy, even though like yeah. it's not what she looks like or whatever. But it's it's a cool homage. It's neat yeah. how that episode. But is they've they've weird. made it somewhat, you know, it's it's a it's a repeating uh, theme now that Nightbird yeah. is a repaint of our city. Yeah. Hey, even somebody did it once. Now we always have to do it. Yes. Yeah. That mold to me looks better as Nightbird than it does as RC. Yeah. Yeah, I'd agree with that. Well, thank you guys for joining us tonight. Uh, thanks to everyone in the chat. Uh, thanks to Ron. Thanks to Randall. Uh, thanks to Catherine. Uh, and Catherine and then, says uh, she, she'd like to see more 3P on the show. So you and Chris I mean, are going to have to. I, I don't think I'm going to buy more 3P. I'm sorry. But uh, we could probably show off whatever Anna has. So 
Or if uh, Rob wants to I'll come back and show some of his, I need his to get more of these. stuff. Um, I was also going to mention Book Club this week uh, is going to be, uh, what is it, Revolution and Revolution 2? What's T-A-A-O? Till All Are One Revolution. Oh, Till All Are One. Okay. I was like, it was throwing me off there. So, Till All Are One Revolution and Revolution 2. That is going to be Sunday night at 9.30 Eastern, 8.30 Central on the uh, TF Talk Discord. Um, so join uh, them and have fun. Um, trying to think what else. Anything? Yeah. Check out Monday night's uh, TFYLP episode if you haven't. This is one of my oh, favorites yeah. that I've worked on. Yeah. Yeah. Interview with uh, Sam Wells is a lot of fun. Yeah. And we'll be live next Monday, right? Yes. Yeah. We, we should be live next Monday. I think we we're going to talk about uh, the... <laughs> Um, our anti- our anti- anticipated uh, figures coming up, I think, right? Of yeah, what we're looking forward to 2022. What we're looking forward to, yeah. yeah. It's ridiculous. So. Get the join shirt. Us, Do not join get us it. next week on Microcasters when we potentially review something that's actually really bad. There, there, yeah. Well, I can't. Don't, imagine. don't give it away. I won't give it away. There's there's two options for next week. One of them is on my desk and is poop, and the other one should be here in a day or two. Well, you already reviewed Draculus, so, I mean. That's not poop. <laughs> Phil, Phil hates that toy so much. Yeah. Me and Peter both hate it. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. I like it, for what it's, it's worth. Fine. It's fine. Micro Pastor's review got me to get it. So. It's wow, KP, it's I'm fun. sorry. I feel bad. I was on the I, fence anyways because few had a really good review of it as well, like a month yeah. ago or so. <laughs> Wait, All did right. you say you watched another another Transformers? I watched video? several Transformer shows. Wow. Did, did you watch Ouch My Wallet last night? Well, no, I have not. I should probably uh, just watch it like while I'm in the crapper, right? Because it'll be you, a dumb you watch. Time. I like how you watch other shows, but not ours. But not ours. I actually watch those. I just listen to ours. They're going on the side. I'll get All there. All right. Well, anyway, I thanks, think we guys. Can go by. Always official. TFYLP, Rob. Always official. Don't, <laughs> Not don't always stray. official.